one of the finer points of working on pianos is an area called voicing, which is uh, very, very important to get the right sound. Now, what's happened is from here up, these are all Steinway B oversized hammers and shanks, heavier shanks, but they have been custom shaped. Listen to the difference in tone. too. But this has a beautiful center, but the attack needs to be a little sharper. And so the way to do this is I bring the action out, stabilize it on two points here and here, and then I'm going to be doing something you probably have never seen before, which is ironing with a hot iron. And I have lined these up so that they are flat. And what's this one doing here? That's okay. Okay. Now, the name of the game, this is the iron. And I have to cool it a little bit on a wet piece of cloth. Otherwise, it will scorch the heads. Now, what this does is that it essentially irons with heat and a little moisture from that cloth the very head in the same way that you iron clothing. And it, it does just like clothing. It puts a little sheen. Now, if you do not cool it, with the water on the cloth, like I'm doing, then you will scorch the heads of your hammers. And I find that this is a pretty effective technique. I don't like the look of this hammer, it has a boo-boo on it. It's in the felt itself. And you gotta watch it, because if you touch this to your skin, it will burn. Okay. So, no discoloration so far. What I'm using is just, it's a washcloth and kind of water in a dish, and it'll take on this shape, and I can effectively cool the hammer. I want it hot, but not too hot. The only part of the hammer that really matters is the part that hits the string in terms of this particular thing. See, I can iron out quite a bit of the lines caused by the strings, which is certainly a less invasive methodology than the sand did. temperature adjustment. So if it gets too hot it just burns this thing. Now just for fun let's see what we've accomplished. See, that 
that's not brighter. This one is. That one's not. And I like it better. Versus a little dead. It's not a huge difference, but when you're when it comes to voicing, you know, and, and getting things dialed in absolutely perfectly. These small differences do make a difference. And this is the kind of thing where a concert pianist wants his piano just so. Just so. Now you can cold iron. And I've done that. And you can flatten them. And it kind of works but not like this. This is far more effective. And this even brings out. A lot of people would probably say, you got to be kidding me. You're going to sit and do this? Oh, yeah. There's a lot of things that get done to pianos that are super picky to get a little more nice back on the note. uncomfortable with those being over bright. These are the ones that all have to have their hammers uh, removed. Let me show you just for fun what this hammer thing is all about. This is the hammer thing. This is an A hammer. See how it's kind of squat and fat looking? It didn't start off like that. It started off looking like this. But as it wore, the technician kept on grinding it down with sandpaper until it took on this shape. Kind of. Now, what I'm doing is taking these, which are B shafts and heads, which started bigger than these, and putting them on this piano to get the concert sound. Very nice. And to do it, I grind away by hand with a Dremel tool, quite a bit of the felt using this as a template. But you'll also notice that the shafts are bigger by almost a third. And uh, what that does is to give a better whack to the note. Yeah, that's lovely tone. This is not. It's good, but not up to that standard. So, this is the game, and these were given to me. It was an old set, a used set, but if they have felt, they can be used. Now, it is true that these hinges were no good, but all you gotta do is pull the pin, which I do, and uh, burnish out the felt hole, and then put a new pin in, and they'll work like this. You also usually have to rebuild the knuckle a little bit with wool, which again can be done, and then I clean up the wood a little bit. But what a great way. It's like putting an oversized engine in a sports car and get some more beautiful tone. That's what it's all about.